I can't wait to try this car caramel car car caramel kit kit car caramel car car kit car car kit kit a car kit. Hey there, and welcome back to Snackable. So today on Snackable, we're gonna be trying caramel caramel. Caramel corn. We're going with caramel corn. We're going to be trying a cheese and caramel corn mix from G.H. Creters. Creters? Creters. Sure. Now, this was also a gift from Christmas, so thank you very much to Brian Ian as well for this. Um, handcrafted small batch popcorn. I don't know why all the handcrafted stuff needs to be made in small batches. Like, make it in a big batch. It's all right. I give you permission. Uh, but yeah, these, uh, I think these are pretty, going to be pretty standard, you know. I think most people have had cheese popcorn before, and most people have had caramel corn before. Sure. Uh, but I think when you eat them together, maybe it changes your life. I don't know. Also, these are about $3.50 at a grocery store. I know they sell them at Costco as well in like a bigger bag, but this bag right here it's $3.50, which isn't bad. Mostly it would be like five bucks for something like this. So that's a lot of popcorn for a small amount. Mmm, interesting, interesting. It only looks, oh, I see one piece of caramel corn. I mean, it smells like popcorn. It smells like delicious, deliciousness. Uh, but I'm, I'm just wondering if the popcorn's gonna be good. So I'm trying to get a little of everything. Yep, it looks like they like sort of made them both together. Uh, so we got we got a little bit right here. Let's give it a try. Now I'm eating them separately. So I, that caramel corn's got a very distinct taste. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, what is that? So there's like a weird flavor coming off of the caramel corn. It's almost like, do you know when you have like skim milk almost like it tastes like it was made with skim milk like you got that weird sort of flavor it's like oh i've never had this milk before and it's like wow this isn't good um that's what it tastes like and it's uh as for the cheese popcorn it's good you know it's it's nothing like outrageous or amazing uh but it's good and, and man that that caramel corn really really brings it down um sort of surprisingly so in fact uh, I feel like I'm going to judge this super harshly just because of that caramel corn. Because it's just like, it brings down the whole, I mean, it's half of what the mix is. And it's bringing it down. Uh, because it's really just not good. Now, together, they're alright. I don't know that I would pick eating these two things together. I would like to eat the cheese popcorn, and then I'd like to eat the caramel corn separately. Um, whew, this is a hard decision. Also, uh, in case you're wondering, it's not white cheddar. It's like the yellow cheddar or whatever it may be, um, which isn't bad. It's just some people prefer white. Um, just the way it is. Boy, I'm, I'm stalling right now. I'm really stalling. If I was judging it just based off of the cheese popcorn, I'd probably give it a six. And if I was judging it based off of just the caramel corn I would give it a 3 so that's 9 out of 20 now that comes out to 0 0.45 um, which do I round up is that something I should do if I round up uh, it's snackable and I'm not going to round up because I, I really do not think this is snackable I think that there's plenty of popcorn out there there's plenty of like locally sourced small business popcorn that's a lot better than this and i think they worked harder for it and i'm sorry if I, I sound harsh right now it's just like man you know half of your ingredients aren't great uh man that caramel corn is just disappointing so it's gonna get a four uh just gonna keep it at four yeah i'm sorry uh, the cheese you're carrying the whole thing unfortunately I hate being harsh in these, but it's just, this is how it comes down to sometimes. But try them for yourself. See if you like them. Maybe I'm insane. Uh, or maybe I'm exactly right. And we will revolt on craters. 
craters, craters, craters. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as I told you, I'm moving. Keep watching the moving vlogs. They'll be coming out for a little bit. Uh, once we get to, I would argue, April, we'll be going more hardcore because my life will not be in shambles. <laughs> and everything that I own will be in one place rather than two places all the time. Uh, so we'll get back to everything normal. But have fun with those moving vlogs. I know I have fun making them. And there's a lot of fun stuff coming up in them. So, uh, But thank you guys so much for watching. And I guess we'll have to see what we're eating next time. Bye.